I don't know if you were there, but last time we tried a free return trajectory on the moon. It didn't work, which is not the game's fault. It's my fault. I was just stupid. Let's do it properly now. Let me show you on the map what we are doing. What we want to do is go prograde until we reach the moon. Alright. Was there. And what we did wrong last time is we barely went there. Because this is how we did it. Yes. Last time, where we failed. So we come in in front. We have the periapsis behind. And then this was our issue. We were just going out of the system. Right. So what I think I found out is you just need to have a bit more power. You go a bit farther out. I don't know the exact numbers right now, but this seems to be working. Then you go to the encounter again. It's a bit difficult to reach. Yes. Okay. So let's look at this. We can now play around with that quite a bit. For example, we go with our periapsis to 500 kilometers or something. Now you see it already whirling around here. That is exactly what we want to have. Now we can like set our periapsis here to whatever we prefer. And we would prefer a landing trajectory. Be like this. On the day side, that would be pleasant. So we have a 2700 kilometer encounter. We will come in on this line go in front of the moon pass behind it it will the gravity will pack us in and we will come back down to earth on a nice landing trajectory and this is what we're going to do now This looks awesome, doesn't it? So we go around the moon, in front of the moon, spin around, it spits us out on a trajectory towards Earth, where we will land right there.
Look at that. Maybe we will go through some nice volumetric clouds. That would be super cool, no? That would be amazing. Or maybe even through that hurricane there? So this is exactly why you do the free return trajectory. If there is a mission that brings you to the orbit around moon, right? And there is, for whatever reason, an issue with your engines or something like that. You have no control anymore. If your trajectory would be like an escaped trajectory from the Earth Moon system, that would be an issue, right? You would be gone. Uh, but with the free return trajectory, if all your engines are gone, you have no control whatsoever, you're just coming back to Earth in a matter of days. So it's a safety measure. How far are we into that hurricane? Ah, it's good. It's to the, uh, to the top left. The eye of the hurricane. At some point you will see re-entry heat effects. Plasma building up. It's a pre-alpha, right? We are far away from that at this point. Let's do this time more. There we are inside the cloud. And we are past the cloud layer. As you know by now, or no, don't spoil anything. Not everybody knows yet. Are we going to splash down? And splash down. We will just go down to the surface of the ocean. So we made it, guys. We made it. Amazing. Free return trajectory. World's first in KSA. It is possible already with the physics simulation. I was just too stupid yesterday. Um, you have to overshoot the moon for quite a bit with your orbit apoapsis and then it will just work. Perfect. Uh, maybe later we can do it as well on Mars. It should be working on Mars as well. Let's see. But for now, this should be it. I'm gonna edit this video now and you will see it on YouTube. Shout out to the viewers on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. <laughs> so, see you later around today and bye bye.